So we've come out today with the intention of continuing our tradition that we only started last year on the anniversary of my dad's death to choose a Christmas tree. Unfortunately, it's not open this year until later. So we've got to have a rethink. I think I've got an idea that, that should work. It involves cake, so that's a win. It's not Christmas yet. But it is for me because 14th of November always signifies the start of Christmas celebrations. So here we are at Bridgemere Garden Centre. Gonna try the Christmas afternoon tea. It's not Christmas. But it soon will be. We spent another year travelling to some amazing places and we haven't finished bringing those to you yet. But in this series, we build the excitement of Christmas. For me personally, the start of Christmas festivities will always be 14th of November. My dear old dad passed away too early like so many others in 2020. From a childhood till I left my parents Groomsby home in 1999 and still some years after that, Dad and I would troll around garden centres and speciality suppliers in the Lincolnshire countryside, looking for the perfect tree. Then I'd persuade him we needed another bird tree decoration. There were special times that I hope won't ever leave my memory. Tony and I made a resolution that 14th of November would be our Christmas tree picking day. Today, on the second anniversary of his granddad passing, Oliver has come for a Christmas afternoon tea on the borders of Cheshire, Staffordshire and Shropshire. We have no idea what to expect. Garden Centre was actually the reason we chose to move to this area with its beautiful show gardens and restaurants and an impressive shrub collection and play areas and shops. I always used to sneak into Hobbycraft and we all enjoyed ripples with its fish and turtles and water features. I've never seen anything like it. I don't think I want to know what the price is, or want to buy it. You might want to know what the price is, just not necessarily. Yeah, so I can laugh at it. <laughs> oh dear. We didn't book, because you can't book on the day. So, we've paid for it now. I've just seen the cakes, and so they look I. amazing. They do look good, but I think you're getting a bit overexcited. I know, but I'm starving. I haven't eaten, eaten yet today, because I've been looking forward to this so much. So we're going to have a look at the show gardens while we're here because we haven't been here for literally I'm, years. Well, I haven't been here for years, you were here last year. Yeah, they started charging this year for walking around the show gardens, so we haven't been. Oh, tap and pay to enter. Wow. Four pounds. Yeah, apparently. Oh, look. <gasps> it's like it's meant to be. Huh. Why isn't it? Yeah. Anyone would think it was like a Monday. November. <laughs> this has changed as well. I think this is where the play area was. <gasps> wow. Do you remember coming here for picnics? No. Really? No. I don't remember the fact we had picnics here or that we had them here specifically.
away. <laughs> Thank you. It smells of sucre. Does it smells of coconut? It doesn't taste of coconut. It smells of coconut. Maybe the only um, Christmas thing about it then is the Christmas scone. Crumbly and all. And the placemats. Oh yeah, and the placemats, yeah. And the centerpiece. And the tropical tea. <laughs> It hurts so much. <laughs> First impressions. It was taking forever. <laughs> Dad thought this would be nice for us because we don't get to spend any time together. Oh yeah, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Sandwiches so far, it's been incredible. It smells nice. Mm. I don't mind your palm. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh my god. It's pretty good. I'm not a massive Christmas cake fan. This is really, really nice. It's really nice, it's really fluffy. That might be one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life. If you don't want it, put it down. I never want this to end. Sit 
seriously. And that was incredible. And I have no idea what it was. So it's a cross between a millionaire shop and the tort. Mm. The ganache layer and the red crumbs tort. It's very, very nice. Sweet. Yes, yeah, very, very sweet. Very, very sickly. Christmas scum. Perfect. We got to warm the butter up. Oh no. She doesn't know we're sitting down on the butter. It's alright, these if the scum's warm, it works out like anyway. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there it was, scum. <laughs> so this is a cranberry and orange scone covered in raspberry. clotted cream and raspberry jam. Or yogurt butter. Or butter. Mm. 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 It doesn't need jam. No. So it's Monday afternoon and I have potentially just eaten my week's calorie allowance. You definitely do not need one per person. But this was really nice. It was $22.95 per person. But for unlimited tea and coffee as well. Um, and the standard of the both the sandwiches, the scones and the pastries. Just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it was all uh, lovely. I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> it was all lovely. Yeah, it was nice. Man, a few words. Twenty-two ninety-five. Is it worth it? Yeah. That's not twenty-two ninety-five for both of them. That's twenty-two ninety-five each. Maybe. If you take in someone on a special treat. <laughs> I'd say just about maybe you could say it was worth it. When we previously, like probably three years ago maybe, looked at afternoon teas, they would have been 1795 or thereabouts. I think that where we are right now on 2295. Tea in this economy just <laughs> You just sound so <laughs> 2022. <laughs> I think 22.95 is, right. is a good price for what we got. It wasn't a shoddy afternoon tea. Let's put it that way. No, it was very nice. Uh, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> and in conclusion, <laughs> the place is definitely better than it was the last time I came here, and uh, I would recommend uh, if you're in the area. <laughs> the area that it's, it's still not Christmas. <laughs> it's just feeling wrong. Kidding me. I know. <gasps> oh, <what? gasps> no. <laughs> That's incredible. I mean, they 
had some of these last year, but they didn't have that. Oh, where is that? I need it. Oh, look at that as well. It's just gorgeous. This is so, you know, tacky that I would not ever have considered having it until last year. When I saw it all last year, I was like, yeah, I want it all. I don't think it's going to have a price tag on it, is it? Oh my god! What was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> Something about it being expensive and. Uh, Something to eat. In this economy. <laughs> Doing anything in Treasure in Treasure in this economy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell everyone. <laughs> Channel investment. <laughs> oh, for God, not again. <laughs> and on that note. <laughs>